pretty good incident. So I, I don't think I have to convince you of the fact that diabetes is a major problem. Diabetes can lead to other things. It leads to inflammatory metabolic problems. It leads to cancer, it leads to kidney problems, amputations, eye problems, uh, etc., and so many other things that, that are involved in diabetes. So it's one of our major problems in our community that we have to address. Now, before you get met, before you get diabetes, you're, you become predisposed to it. And what they diagnose as a predisposed state is metabolic syndrome. Say for instance, pre-diabetes. The good thing about metabolic uh, syndrome is that it's reversible. If you take the right steps, you can reverse that process and, and normalize back to someone who has a, a normal metabolic, metabolic state. Once you're in diabetes, that is irreversible in the main. Unless, hopefully, with new technology and new medicines and, and new strategies, we can reverse diabetes, but it's not uh, at this moment. So, very important for us to look at uh, metabolic. Now, how do we look at that? Uh, in, in, the, uh, in the main, we look at studies. One of the major studies that is conducted throughout the United States is the NHA study. It's a study of uh, individuals in the United States. They do about 5,000 people a year, and they periodically uh, uh, publish their results. And Haynes, the number three, uh, was reported around 2,000. There's been one be uh, since then, in 2006. Uh, the numbers you'll see are, are from the th from uh, Haynes three, but uh, there, as the, as the years have gone by, our uh, our incidence and prevalence has, has continued to be steady and increased. Actually, prevalence has increased. Uh, so note that these numbers, whatever they are, they're probably higher at this point. <coughs> now, uh, the latest in the Haines study has just been reported in September of this fall, so I'm looking forward to many more studies coming out, much 